Hey guys, it's been quite a while since I've had any videos. So I wanted to post a uh, unboxing for the Roach Lab. Um, I got a bunch of roaches in today to kind of help some of my colonies that exist and just get some new species. Um, this is middle of winter. It is January 11th. And daytime temperatures around here in Pennsylvania are right now around the mid 40s to mid 50s nighttime around 20 uh degrees fahrenheit so it's it's cold so he sent these from i believe arizona so i'm going to go ahead and open this up see if i can do this one-handed or not camera work while I'm doing this. He did ship it with a heat pack. Um, it took three days, I believe, in the mail. So, okay. And right off the bat, Box is pretty warm still. Nice insulated top. And let's see if the heat pack. Yep, heat pack still is warm. So heat pack's probably probably about 80 degrees. Still pretty warm there. So, got some paraplanetas. These are Australasiae. And some adults in there as well, and they are perfectly healthy looking. Awesome. So, that's a very good sign since they're a little bit of warmer species. And what have we got? Paraplaneta brunei. And young nymphs. Some subs. Everything looks happy and healthy. This is the Americana White Eye strain. Ooh, lots of little babies in there, that's nice. So they seem healthy. Usually if young nymphs are fine, everything will be. Here's uh, Paraplaneta fuliginosa. That's good there. Where are you? Uh, Blood Orientalis. Everything seems healthy in there. And Duestas, red headed. Even had one molt, seems to be fine, so... Ooh, man, there's a nice big pile in there, that's awesome looking. Okay. Panchlorinavias, wow, look at all them adults. Definitely not go wrong with that. Very, very awesome. Eurocotus floridanas. Happy and healthy. Flatter lateralis. Or Shelfordella lateralis, depending which one you attribute to. These are the red runners or Turkestan roaches. I'm going to be breeding a uh, feeder colony for the uh, local pet store with these. Okay. Had a lot of time off from the hobby. Haven't let the uh, colonies die off, but uh, all of them, some of them I've culled and sold, but 
getting back into it, so you're going to see videos from me again. These are Lofeta Cenaria, Lobster Roaches. Nice pile of adults in there too. And Paraplaneta Americanas. can't see in that tube, but I'm assuming that tube's got a bunch in there. But everything seems healthy. So it's all good signs. And what are you? Here's the rest of the lateralis. I think I ordered 300 of these or something. Okay, a little container here. This is labeled as pest, so I'm assuming, yep, these are Sapella longipalpa, the brown banded. Oh, nice, and included a couple adults there. The last uh, colony of brown bandits I had, uh, they had desiccated too quickly and died on me. So that was an unfortunate end to them, but... Hopefully I'll get these running again. I got I think one dead one down there. There's an Othika stuck in there. So that'll give me some quick babies. I appreciate that. Let's see. Anything else? Ah, some Surrey noms. It's like a lot of uh, springtails floating around in there, too. You can kind of see one stuck right there. I've never actually had uh, the uh, Surinoms. I've had the Embers before. Um, but these are the first true uh, Surinam roaches I've had. Yeah, the bullet roaches. I'm not sure their uh not sure their name offhand. Looks like in a couple of Sika stuck there and looks like some adults in there too. A couple of females. Nice. Okay, I think that might be everything. I think that's everything. Let's go through here real quick and make sure. Yep. Okay. Well, everything looks happy and healthy. And, uh, you know, it looks like a lot of adults and some overcounts on some of these, so that's awesome. And I'll be, uh, setting up their enclosures and letting you guys know everything is, but it looks like everything's good. So, uh, if you want to get some roaches, I definitely would, uh, contact the roach lab and, uh, you can definitely ship during the colder time of the year here. I uh, would never recommend it below 30 degrees, and we actually held off for a week shipping because we had negative temperatures here for a while. But now everything is a little bit warmer, a little bit normal uh, temperatures from what we'd normally have, so or what we should normally have. But looks like we have plenty of critters here that... Survived shipping no problem. Alright, I'll see you all around.